Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Raspberry Pi 3 running Android 7.0. Yes, this is the new Android Nougat. And I got this from Geek Till It Hurts. I'll leave a link to his YouTube page in the description. Go check him out. He's awesome. I'll also leave a link to the GitHub repository. Um, Peter Yoon does all this work with the Raspberry Pi and Android, and he is amazing. Super smart guy, so you can go over there and get the source if you'd like to. Right now, there's not a lot that can be done with this. If I go into settings and I go all the way down to the bottom or, or click on anything really in here, settings is going to crash. And that really sucks, but we got to deal with that right now. I'm going to try tomorrow to sideload some apps up on here. Since I'm unable to see my IP through the settings, I'll have to go into my router, see if it's connected, all that good jazz, see if I can get the IP to sideload some apps over ADB. But I'll go to a web view browser here, Google. And I tried this earlier and it was pretty awesome. Now I know it's very low resolution, but YouTube playback works directly from in the web view browser. So Hopefully in the future, we get a good port of this and everything will work out. I know it's getting closer and closer to Android being on the Raspberry Pi, and a lot of people are like, why do you want that? Well, the big reason is it's because it can be done. That's really what it boils down to. I don't know if there's a full screen for this or not. I doubt it. But playback's awesome. I'm actually going to try to go back to Google and run a SunSpider benchmark. Now SunSpider is a browser-based Java benchmark, so it's going to be using the WebView browser, and the WebView browser is not that fast. But we're going to see if it'll run it anyway. It is actually way faster than I thought it was going to be. I have run this same benchmark within Raspbian, and I scored anywhere from a 2800 to a 3500 millisecond. Lower is better. That's pretty cool. 1769, now this is nowhere near new Android phones or anything like that, but the Raspberry Pi is a very low powered PC. That to me is actually very impressive. In WebView. So who knows what we're going to get if we get Chrome on here. That's pretty much it for now. I mean, that's all we can really do. We could go to websites and stuff like that, but a lot of this stuff is crashing. We'll open up music. I haven't even tried this. Yeah, okay, it stopped. Again, stopped. Clock. It's probably going to stop. No, oh, well, you got a clock. If you guys want a install tutorial, just let me know and I'll try to make one tomorrow. It's very simple. You just use Win32 Disk Imager just like you would installing pretty much any other operating system on the Raspberry Pi. But I had to show you guys this. One step closer, guys. So what I did was I left a link in the description. Go down there. Check out Geek Till It Hurts YouTube page. He has tons of stuff on the Raspberry Pi. Really interesting stuff. And this kid is smart. I'm also going to leave a link to the GitHub page of Peter Yoon. You can get the source for this. If you're into Android and the Raspberry Pi, maybe you can get it working a little better. Who knows? Like always, thanks for watching.